Welcome to CREAM, College Ready English and Math, a program initiative sponsored by the North Dakota Department of Public Instruction and Dakota College at Botno. You're here because it has been indicated that you would be required to take pre-college courses at the collegiate level, such as pre-reading, pre-writing, and or pre-math. The program is developed to allow you to be able to complete these prerequisite courses in high school such that when you go to the college of your choice, you can jump right into college English and college algebra, college or finite math, etc. So there's a few things you need to do to get started. Let's talk about them. The four steps that you're going to take are to register for your My Learning Lab account and your teacher will help you with this. The next thing you will do is take a pretest. Take this pretest very seriously because it'll assign you modules that you have not mastered. If you've mastered topics, that's awesome. You don't need to work on those. You only need to work on things that um, have yet to be mastered from the pretest. So take it seriously. Then, after all that's done, you'll take a post test. The post test will help us determine how far you have grown from your pretest to your post test and will also be placed on your transcript for placement purposes once you reach the college of your choice. So let's get into the My Learning Lab and show you around. At this point, I've already registered for the My Foundations Lab, and you'll notice on the left you do have some navigation. These pieces here you shouldn't be able to see because they're hidden and for instructor use only. But you should be able to see course home, reading, writing, and math skills, a multimedia library, and some other services for you. But ideally, here is your landing page. Now, some of you may be working on English, some of you may be working on math, and some of you may be working on reading, writing, and math. Both reading and writing are required for English, and math is all by itself here. So if you're going to be working on English, you need to complete the pretest for both reading and writing, the modules for reading and writing which you are assigned, and the post test for reading and writing for which you are assigned. To begin, all we need to do is click on Path Builder. Once I'm here, I'm going to click on the reading pretest. And then I can go ahead and begin my pretest. It's okay if you don't finish the pretest in one sitting. Don't worry, you can shut down and come back at a later time. The same goes for your writing pretest and the math pretest. Be careful, you are only given one attempt on your pretest. So take it very seriously because this will determine the amount of modules that you will need to work on and master. So I'm gonna pause the video and start this test so we can see what it looks like once we're done. Once I submitted the test, you can see that I have mastered some modules. Anything in the gold star are things that I have mastered based on the pretest and I don't need to worry about them. Those with the pencil need to be worked on. So I'm gonna go back to my learning path and I can see that of the steps that I need to complete, the first one I've already done was the pretest, and now my second step is to work on the modules so that I can continue on. The gold stars are things that I've mastered, so I don't need to worry about them. I just need to worry about the reading introductory piece. So I'm gonna click on this, and then I can go ahead and begin starting with the overview and work my way through the different portions. Once I'm done with this particular topic, I have the opportunity to take a module mastery check. These aren't required, but certainly great and helpful to make sure you're on the right track. I'm gonna go back to my course home, and then you can start and work on your writing skills. And if you're working on math, go ahead and work on your math one. When I click into my math, I quickly took the pretest in two seconds. Notice that I will need to work on all of these options because I didn't master any on my pre-assessment. When I go to my learning path then, within math, notice that I have quite a bit I need to work on. It's okay, you do not need to work each module in its order that it's listed. You can bounce around and work 
any module in any order that you choose. At the very end, after I complete my, my pretest, I've successfully worked on all of my modules. I could then work on the final step, the post test. Remember, the post test is what helps us determine how far you've grown, and the post test is what we will put on your transcript for placement purposes at the college or university of your choice. When I click onto the mastery, I'll want to click on the post test. There is a mastery check that you certainly could work on. I would use this as a pre-post test, if you will, to make sure I've got all the concepts down before I take my official post test. When I click into my post test, each reading, writing, and math post test has a password. You'll need to get this password from your teacher before you can begin. The post test is set up similar to the pretest, so don't rush through it. You can take your time and come back to it later. Also, the post test can be taken more than one time. So if you do not earn a 70% or larger on the post test, you can take it again. Don't worry. I'm really excited that you decided to join CREAM as part of your program for this school year. And I look forward to the growth with which I'll see in the upcoming weeks. Please feel free to have your teacher reach out with any questions that you might have. Good luck and have a great year.